Once upon a time, in the magical realm of Fairyland, there lived a fairy named Lumina. Lumina was not an ordinary fairy. Her wings sparkled like a kaleidoscope of colors, and her laughter echoed through the enchanted meadows, casting a spell of joy on all who heard it. One fateful day, Lumina found herself whisked away by a mysterious breeze far beyond the borders of her familiar home. As Lumina fluttered through the mystical currents of the breeze, she landed in a land unknown to her, a realm where the hills rolled like emerald waves, and the fragrance of unfamiliar blossoms filled the air. The inhabitants of this foreign land, with awe-filled eyes, beheld Lumina's radiant presence and believed her arrival to be a sign of great fortune. In this land, the people welcomed Lumina with open arms, hailing her as the Queen of Luminosity. They believed she was destined to bring prosperity and happiness to their kingdom. Lumina, curious and delighted by their warm reception, embraced her newfound role with grace and kindness, the kingdom showered Lumina with the most splendid treatments. The royal castle became her enchanting palace, adorned with blossoms and sparkling lights in her honor. The citizens, captivated by Lumina's magical aura, lined the streets to catch a glimpse of their radiant queen. Lumina, in turn, reveled in the love and admiration bestowed upon her by the grateful inhabitants, the royal banquet tables were a feast of wonders. Adorned with the most delectable treats that tickled Lumina's fairy taste buds, the people spared no effort in making their queen of luminosity feel cherished and celebrated. Lumina danced with the children in sunlit meadows, healed wounded animals with a touch of her fairy magic, and shared tales of her homeland under the moonlit sky. The kingdom flourished under Lumina's gentle reign. The emerald hills seemed to sway in rhythmic harmony with Lumina's laughter, and the fragrance of blossoms lingered longer in the air. Lumina, captivated by the beauty and kindness of the people, began to feel a sense of belonging in this foreign land. Days turned into weeks, and Lumina, immersed in the culture of her adopted kingdom, couldn't help but marvel at the richness of her experiences. The people's generosity and warmth became threads in the tapestry of Lumina's journey, weaving a tale of friendship and mutual enchantment. However, amidst the splendor and adoration, Lumina couldn't shake a gentle tug at her heart. Thoughts of her family in Fairyland The whispering willows and her fairy friends filled her dreams. Lumina, in the quiet moments of reflection, longed for the familiar magic of her homeland. One evening, as Lumina stood on the balcony of the royal castle, the moon casting a silver glow on the kingdom below, a feeling of homesickness washed over her. She missed the enchanted glades, the laughter of her friends, and the comforting whispers of the willows. A wise elder of the kingdom, noticing Lumina's contemplative demeanor, approached her with a gentle smile. Dear Queen of Luminosity, the elder fairy spoke with kindness. Your radiance has graced our kingdom, and we are forever grateful. Yet, I sense a longing in your heart. What troubles you, Luminous One? Lumina, with sincerity in her eyes, shared the story of Fairyland, her home, and the family she had left behind. The elder fairy listened with empathy, understanding the depth of Lumina's connection to her roots. The following day, Lumina announced her decision to bid farewell to the kingdom that had welcomed her so graciously. The citizens, though saddened by the news, understood the call of Lumina's heart. The kingdom had flourished under her reign, and Lumina had become an integral part of their tale. A grand farewell celebration was organized, 
a symphony of lights and laughter that echoed through the emerald hills. Lumina, adorned in a gown woven from moonlight, stood before the people who had embraced her as their queen. My dear friends, Lumina began, her voice carrying the enchantment of sincerity. Your kingdom has been a treasure, and I shall carry the memories of our time together in my heart forever. Yet, my roots lie in fairyland, where friends and family await my return. As Lumina spoke, tears glistened in the eyes of the citizens. The royal banquet tables transformed into a magical display of lights, a farewell gift from the kingdom to their queen of luminosity. Lumina, with a heavy heart, spread her wings and took flight. As she soared through the skies, Lumina glanced back at the kingdom below. The people, watching their radiant queen disappear into the horizon, felt a mix of emotions, gratitude for the time they had shared and a touch of sorrow at her departure. Upon returning to Fairyland, Lumina felt the familiar embrace of the whispering willows and the melodies of enchanted creatures. Her fairy friends, the talking animals, and the flowers welcomed her back with open arms. Lumina, surrounded by the warmth of her home, felt a profound sense of belonging. In the quiet moments, Lumina looked up at the stars, wondering if the people in the foreign kingdom were gazing at the same sky. She cherished the memories of her time as their queen. As Lumina fluttered through the familiar meadows, she couldn't help but smile, grateful for the richness of her journey. The magic of her homeland, the friendships she had forged, and the lessons learned in the foreign kingdom would forever be etched in Lumina's heart, a testament to the enduring enchantment of her fairy tale. <laughs>